Well, hello everyone. It is the 27th of February, 2021. And it's been some time since I posted an update on my Mastering Diabetes journey. Uh, the last time was the 18th of October. So I am now just past nine months. So nine months I have been eating low fat, plant-based whole food. What I thought I'd do is I'll give you a bit of a, a, a sort of brief recap of my history. My name is Andrew Wilson. I've been type 1 diabetic for 35 years. When I was eight years old, I was diagnosed. I was on a standard Western diet in the US. You'd call it a standard American diet for 29 years. And I then had real problems with controlling my blood sugars, really big problems, which caused me huge issues, both physically and mentally. I managed to source an insulin pump and I self-funded CGM. And at the same time, I went and changed my diet onto a ketogenic diet. And in my mind, because I work with numbers, I'm, I'm an accountant by trade. And because of the numbers, it kind of made sense to me that actually, if you don't eat too many carbs, your blood sugars can't rise too high, can they? At the time, the solution was keep your carb count low and that will work. Now. I was pretty successful at this. I did that for five years, five years of eating between 30 and probably 60 grams, 70 grams of carbs at most on a day. I remained relatively healthy throughout. I exercised throughout. I also made sure I did eat some greens and so I'd eat some vegetables and I'd eat some, um, some salads. But the majority of my food was meat, very high fat foods. So moving on from there, when we were put into lockdown in the UK, I had previously come across the Mastering Diabetes podcast. I listened to Robbie and I listened to Cyrus. I listened to the testimonials. For someone who'd been type one for 35 years, it astounded me. I, I thought this, this just cannot, in my mind, it cannot be true because the ketogenic diet for me was working really well, but I also had this problem whereby if you think about the major issues that and complications that arise from being diabetic, number one is cardiovascular problems and heart attacks. Even for me, who works with numbers, I'm not a doctor, but for a layman like me, eating lots of meat, that made me think all you're going to do is perpetuate the problem. Effectively, you will cause yourself problems quicker, perhaps later on in life, because as I say, I am quite active. So I decided lockdown was the time that I'm going to test this low fat plant-based whole food method and way of eating. So I binged the podcasts. I waited till I'd received the book. The Mastering Diabetes book was released, I believe it was the 14th of Feb, 2020. I had it relatively soon after that. And I read through the book. I had a plan on what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. I did that and I, I did the transition whereby I just went cold turkey. I didn't do the step by step. I just thought if I'm going to do this, I've got to do it. I'll do it the way I do it. Again, coming from a, a sort of financial and a data-driven background, I tracked it all. So you guys that have been watching perhaps from the first video um, here, this is, I've, I've done a lot of videos. I was doing the daily videos. And then about day 60, it took me some time to get control of my background insulin. And at day 60, I, tra I started the transition to low-fat plant-based whole food following the mastering diabetes method. And I've been tracking it ever since. I stopped posting videos in October because I wanted to concentrate and give myself a three to four month gap of really living with this and trying to manage it. And I think I've been really very successful. So now this is kind of like the be all and end all, final knockings for how has mastering diabetes and how has living a low fat plant-based whole food lifestyle affected my insulin sensitivity. So everything you read in the book, everything you listen to on the podcast, I, um, I also, just to let you guys know, and um, sort of full disclosure, I signed up for the Do It Yourself program with Mastering Diabetes, and I did it myself. I then signed up for the, what I like to call the Do It With Yourself programs, 
whereby I did the one-on-one -on -one coaching with Kylie and it was incredible. Both of those individually were incredible. I felt I needed the one-on-one -on -one coaching because I had to get the intricacies in. So there's been a few tra other transitions in this period as well, such as I was on an insulin pump with the CGM. I'm now on, uh, I'm now back to MDI. And I wanted to try that. I needed a break from the insulin pump. I've been on it for four, four to five years. I wanted a pump break and I've had a decent pump break now and I'm pretty damn comfortable with MDI. Will I go back to the pump? Possibly. Do I think I need to? No, I'm actually really comfortable with MDI at present. That being said, let's revisit very quickly the aim and the purpose of mastering diabetes. So number one, insulin sensitivity, okay? what the, the the plan is to increase your insulin sensitivity when i was on a ketogenic diet when i ate carbs my blood sugar spiked they just did could i eat fruit no no chance i could not eat fruit for love nor money because if i did eat fruit or potatoes or bread or pasta or rice or anything cider going to a pub for instance if i if i ate any of those things or drank that my blood sugar would spike and they would spike a lot. So if I ate that, that is. So I wanted to change that entirely. I wanted to go from the 30 to 60 grams of carbs a day and really test exactly what these guys are saying. I want to show you the figures on, on some, some spreadsheets now and I, I really want to prove to you how far I've come over this period of time, just so anyone watching this could, can see the transition. The reason I tracked it was exactly this, because the, the figures don't lie. I know what I'm doing with, with figures, you know, as a, as a chartered accountant, I don't mess about with this stuff. I want to make sure it's correct and accurate so that I can track it and so that I can be com uh, confident and comfortable with what's happening to me. And it did take some time to get used to. So let me show you the spreadsheets, let me show you the figures, and, um, and then I'll, I'll sort of come back and give you a, a fine, my final thoughts. A very quick overview of the information that I've been tracking for a long time. May last year, this was when I was on the eating ketogenic, okay? And I look at calories, fat as grams, fat as a percentage of calories, carbs consumed, total insulin consumed, carb to total insulin ratio, basal insulin usage, carb to bolus insulin, fiber, time and range, average glucose. So lots of information there. I'm not asking you to worry about it too much, but just here is the information on a daily basis and then I summarize it into weeks. And I've done that all the way till the 16th to the 22nd of, of Feb. So then I summarize it on here and I've got a graphical overview. So what I want to show you is this. This is my fat consumed. And you can see, when I was uh, ketogenic, 102 grams of fat. And then I instantly went down and I've stuck at that level of fat pretty much the entire way, okay? And that is, that is grams, that's not as a percentage, okay? If we were to look at percentage, that would be on this summary here. And fat as a percentage is along this line. Uh, let's make it green. 10%, 9%, 9%. You can see I'm well within the, and last two was eight and 7%, well within the 15%. A really good gauge of how affected your insulin usage has been is your background insulin and your basal. So the first thing I want to look at after fat consumed, just to prove that I've been showing less than 30 grams a day, basal insulin usage. Have a look at this. We started on the ketogenic 24.3 units of basal a day. Look at that. I'm now down to eight units a day. That movement between in nine months, let's go to the summary, basal insulin usage, a 67% reduction between 24 units and eight units. That's massive. That, I mean, that alone 
proves that a low fat plant based whole food method and way of eating will improve your insulin sensitivity. If my background insulin is 66% less, 67% less, that's, that's a fact. Basal insulin usage, 67%. Now let's look at insulin sensitivity. To view insulin sensitivity, this is the overall carb to insulin ratio. So the amount of carbs for one unit of insulin. I began at 1.8 grams of carbs per unit of insulin. And that is, when I say unit of insulin, that's not just bolus, that is basal as well. That is total insulin in a day. 1.8 grams of carbs per one unit of insulin. I'm now at 21.9. The shift between the two, 1200%. I'm 12 times more insulin sensitive. That, again, proves that low fat plant based whole food works. Okay, um, let's look at carbs consumed. Carbs went from 56 to 400. I'm actually averaging now, in the last week, I'm averaging up nearer the 500, but I'm comfortable around four to 500. Um, but those are the overall figures. And you can see here that whilst carbs consumed is up 700%, insulin consumed, total insulin consumed, is down 42% has gone from 31.5 units of insulin to 18.3 on average for the week. I think that answers pretty much every one of the questions. And the next thing to look at is time in range. As I was transitioning, my time in range was pretty bad, but it's increased. My time in range is now 88% for that week. Okay, week 43. Average glucose was 5.6. Here is the graph for total insulin usage. I began and bear in mind, I was on 30 to 60 grams of carbs a day, 31.5 units of insulin. I'm now on over 400, 18.3 units of insulin on average for that week. That's 400 grams a day, not 30 to 50 grams a day. So I know that a major concern, and I know it is a major concern because I had it as well, was with blood sugar spikes and really struggling with going high with carbs. So I want to show you my last 90 days on the Dexcom Clarity. This is my last 90 days and that's up until today, Saturday 27th of Feb. As I said, I was recording this. Time in range, 82%, which may be okay, but I can definitely do better. 13% low, I need to get that below five. But what I really wanted to point out was this. I've had next to no time in the highs and considering I'm consuming between, on average, 400 grams and have been a long, long time, but now I'm near a 500, I think that is a telling um, stat, okay? And anyone that's concerned about high blood sugars, I don't think you should be. I think in actual fact, you should be concerned about your insulin sensitivity and still going low, even after nine months. So sensor usage, 99 days, 99%. Uh, so I've, I've had the CGM the whole time. Average glucose, 5.4. Well, look, 90 days, new way of eating, new lifestyle. Am I happy with 5.4? Yeah, I am. Does it need to probably be a little bit higher to reduce these lows? Yeah, possibly maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3 higher, wouldn't have an issue with that. The aim of documenting everything was to prove one way or another whether a low-fat plant-based whole food way of eating would improve my insulin sensitivity, make me feel better, and, and effectively change my life. And I've got to say it has. You know, I'm absolutely going to continue eating in this way. My insulin sensitivity is proven. The figures are clear. You know, 67% down on basal insulin usage. My insulin sensitivity is up over 1200%. So I'm 12 times more insulin sensitive than I was before. I'm eating the most nutrient dense foods that I've ever eaten in my life, fiber fueled. Um, it's I can't see a downside at the moment. You know, the, 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 the only thing is it does take some time to track it, but actually who cares? You know, my timing range is good. Can it be improved? Yes, but then everyone's timing range could be improved, I'm sure. 
look, I hope you guys really got some value from that because I've, I've, that you know, the last nine months has been tough in times. Um, it's certainly been challenging. But when isn't a life with diabetes tough and challenging? Um, I've I've really enjoyed this and I hope you guys have as well. I will make sure I post more videos. I'm going to be looking at lots more stuff. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a message and absolutely subscribe. And, um, and I'll be posting lots more videos in the future. Take care of yourselves, okay?